Hello everyone and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial. In today's video we are going to be reaching new heights by building our very own hot air balloon. The build takes up an area of 15 blocks by 15 blocks at its widest point and it is 32 blocks high. These are the materials required for the build and you may have some placeholder blocks left over at the end. You can also find a link to the sphere generator website down below where you can take another look at the circles we've been creating throughout. Just make sure to set the sphere size to 15 blocks. Now let's build. So the first thing that we're going to build is the bottom of the hot air balloon basket. So taking some blocks, you want to pull it up where you want the bottom of the hot air balloon to be. And for me, this is going to be Y level 120. Then you're going to use this pillar to build a 5x5 ring, switching between your oak stairs and your spruce stairs, ensuring that they're upside down. Then to finish off this layer, you want to take your barrels and you want to place these so that the black bars are facing up. Then we're going to come on the underside of our bottom layer and then each of the four corners of our barrels we're going to place some pistons making sure that the wooden part is facing down. Then in between our pistons at either side we're going to add two levers and power them on. So that's going to act as the feet that will absorb any impact when we land our hot air balloon. Next coming back up top what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my oak planks and I'm going to place one layer of oak planks on top of all our upside down spruce stills and then I'm going to place a spruce plank on top of all of our upside down oak stills. Then taking your barrels you want to fill in this gap with your barrels again and make sure that the black bars are facing upwards. Coming over to the left hand side which I'm going to make my entrance, I'm going to place two iron bars at the corner blocks. Then I'm going to repeat this over at the back side. Then at our other two sides I'm going to place an iron bar at the centre blocks. Underneath all of our iron bars I'm going to hang down a chain. Then underneath our chains I'm going to add a hay bale which is going to act as our counterweights for our hot air balloon. For the top section of the basket I'm going to take my oak planks and I'm going to place these on top of any of the splish planks that are already placed down, missing that middle block over at the left hand side. Then I'm going to take my spruce planks and place these on top of any oak planks in the middle section. Then taking an iron trap door I'm going to place that in the gap between our planks. And on the inside of our basket, just beside our iron trap door, I'm going to place a lever and power it on. So that's going to act as how we get in and out of the hot air balloon. Next up, taking our spruce trap doors, I'm going to add a layer of spruce trap doors on top of our planks. Next up, on the top layer of planks, I'm going to add an oak fence to all of our spruce planks. Then I'm going to take our spruce fences and add a spruce fence beside all of our oak planks. Then I'm going to fill in the gaps in the corners with oak fences. On the spruce fences in the corners here, I'm going to build these up so they're three fences high in total. Then coming in towards the centre from these fences, I'm going to add another spruce fence. Then on these fences in towards the centre, I'm going to add three fences on top of them so they're all four fences high in total. Next we're going to add in the fire responsible for keeping our hot air balloon in the sky. So what I'm going to do is coming up to the second fence on our inside fences, I'm going to come in and over a block and place an upside down polished andesite stair. Then in between our stairs I'm going to add in a polished andesite slab making sure it's at the top of our stairs. On top of our polished andesite slab I'm going to add a campfire. Then at the tops of our stairs I'm going to add in two high iron bars. Then I'm going to join the bottom layer of our iron bars by filling in the corners with some more iron bars. Now it's time to start working on the balloon. So the first thing we're going to do is come up to our top layer of spruce fences and we're going to fill in the gaps between our fences using a mixture of white wool and white concrete. Then we're going to build this ring of wool and concrete up so it's three blocks high in total. For the next layer of the hot air balloon we're going to take our cyan wool and our cyan concrete. Then we're going to come up and out a block from our white wool and concrete and do a five long wall. Then we're going to fill in the four inside corners. Behind our five sided cyan walls we're going to do another layer of five long cyan walls. Then we're going to fill in the four outside corners this time. Then we're going to repeat this circle so it's too high this time using our white wool and white concrete. Switching back to our cyan wool and concrete we're going to come up and out one from our white circle we've just added and we're going to build another five long one high wall at each of our four sides. Then we're going to join these up in the corners by using two blocks going across diagonally. Then switching back to your white wall and white concrete you want to add another layer exactly the same on top of that. Switching back to our cyan wool and cyan concrete we're going to come up and out a block from the ring we've previously added 
and we're going to add another five wide and one high wall to each of the four sides. Then we're going to join up the four sides using three blocks going across diagonally in each of the corners. Then you're going to take your white wall and white concrete and build this up again so it's two blocks high in total. Switching back to our cyan wool and cyan concrete, we're going to come up a layer from the rings we've just added and on top of our five wide sides we're going to build a seven long and one high wall. Then we're going to join each of the four corners using two blocks going diagonally. Then switching back to our white wall and white concrete we want to repeat this ring coming up one more block. For the next section we're going to switch back to our cyan wool and cyan concrete. Then starting in the middle of the four sides we're going to come up and out a block and build a three wide wall. Then one block in front of this wall to the left and right hand side we're going to build another three wide wall. Then we're going to place a block going diagonally in the corners to join up all the four sides. Then once again you want to switch back to your white wall and white concrete and add an additional layer on top of this one. This next section of the hot air balloon is going to be the biggest part of the balloon so we're going to want to switch back to our cyan wool and concrete and on top of our three wide walls sticking out at the four sides in the centre we're going to build a five wide wall on top of them. Coming one block in front of these five wide walls we're going to build a two wide wall at the left and right hand side. Then we're going to join up these four sides by placing a block going diagonally in the corners. Then you want to follow this same circle design and add another layer with your white wool and white concrete. Then we're going to finish up by switching back to our cyan wool and concrete and adding our third and final layer of this section. Next, switching back to our white wool and our white concrete. On top of the five wide wall at each of the four sides, we're going to build a three wide wall in the center of that. Then coming one block in front at the left and right hand side, we're going to build another three wide wall at each side. Then we're going to join up all four of the sides again by placing a block going diagonally in each of the four corners. Next, we're going to switch back to our cyan wool and cyan concrete and we're going to come up and in a block from the outside of the ring we've just added and we're going to build a seven wide wall. Then we're going to join up these four sides by adding two blocks going diagonally in each of the four corners. Switching back to our white wool and white concrete once again, we're going to build a five wide wall on top of the seven wide wall we just added. Then we're going to join up each of these four sides by doing three blocks going diagonally in the corners. For this next layer we're going to switch back to our cyan wool and concrete then we're going to come up and in a block towards the centre and just in front of the five wide wall we just placed we're going to build another five wide wall at either side. Then we're going to join up these four sides by doing two blocks going diagonally in the corners. Switching back to our white wool blocks and white concrete blocks we're going to come up and in a block from the ring we just added. Then in front of the five wide walls at either side we're going to build another five wide wall. Then directly in front of these five wide walls we're going to build a seven wide wall. Then we're going to add an additional block in each of the four corners and the gap in the center. And for the final layer of the balloon we're going to want to switch back to our cyan wool and cyan concrete. Then we're going to come up a block and in a block towards the center of the balloon and we want to do a three wide wall at each of the four sides. Then we're going to take our cyan blocks and fill in the gap leaving the very middle hole empty. Then right on top of that middle hole we're going to place our final white wall block. And there you have it, your very own hot air balloon to let you float away from all your troubles. An easy way to personalise the build for your world would be to mix up the colours used for the balloon itself. For example, switching out the white and cyan blocks for a black and red combination. Or to make it stand out even more, you could look at creating some pixel art by mixing in different coloured blocks for the balloon. Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe for more Minecraft content in the future. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!